Congratulations on the movie. Thank you very Gideon. much. Um, it, it, it is equal parts nail biting and also heartbreaking. Yes, I believe. Um, so set the stage for us. Well, how got oh, how, what did, got you interested in uh, making the Red Sea Diving Resort? Not only writing it, but also directing it as well. Well, I was born and raised in Israel, yeah. and uh, I heard about the uh, you know the more famous area lifts of Ethiopians in the mid '80s to uh, Israel. I did not know about this wow. hotel that was used no one as a cover. <laughs> yeah, well, no one did. Exactly, because <laughs> it was just declassified a few years ago. Yeah. So when I heard the story, I went to Israel. I was in Croatia at the time shooting something, but I went to Israel and I met with many of the Ethiopians who have done this journey, who've left their homes and crossed the desert into Sudan and then spent time in the refugee camps in Sudan until they could be smuggled to Israel. I met with the Mossad agents that uh, leased this hotel and that helped the Ethiopians um, in their courageous journey. And I was so touched and humbled by meeting them that I had to drop everything and tell this story. Wow. So how do your experience, experiences uh, growing up in Israel inform your writing and directing of the film? Well, you know, I, I have, uh, I guess I, I love the neighborhood I come from. It's a tough neighborhood, but I love it. All the stories that I tell are usually from it. I'm fascinated by uh, the country I come from and the area it's in. Um, and if you look at all my work, it's a lot of it is, you know, write what you know. Um, Including so, train. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I'm a fan that of was that, a, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. Thank you. By the way, um, let's talk about the performances. Great performances, you know, starting from Chris Evans all the way to Michael K. Williams. He is amazing. Michael K. was character, uh, uh, the character all the way through the movie. Um, he took to heart so much uh, of what happened to uh, this real character. Yeah. Um, Ferreira Aklum, who's a hero in Israel. He passed away sadly a few years ago, but I'm in touch with his family. Um, and Michael and Chris, their partnership, the, yeah. the partnership between these two real people um, is what uh, allowed this operation to succeed and to happen. And Ferrede Aklum, the, the inspiration for Michael Kay, is the person who started this whole thing. He's the one who wrote letters to every Jewish wow, organization yeah. saying, we are starting our journey to Jerusalem. Yeah. With you or without you, come, come. Wow. Yeah. Um, how was the experience making the movie? I mean, what are the biggest challenges that you faced? Well, you know, it was, a, it was a hard movie to tell because we are just like, you know, we're crossing the desert, we're crossing rivers, we are uh, uh, shooting very hard scenes, we are um, shooting in hard weather conditions. Yeah. And yet, uh, like on every set, when you have 250 people telling a story together, sharing a vision, wanting to tell the story together, it's also a lot of fun yeah. and very um, humbling. Oh, in one of your interviews, I read that uh, you're, you're hoping for world peace. Like a beauty queen. Like everyone, yeah, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> but how, how, how do your work from, you know, homeland to prisoners of war all the way to the Red Sea, um, how did that inform all your work? Look, I'm, I'm a, a vegan, <laughs> and if I believe in one thing is compassion. Yeah. I believe that we all have one life, and once it's taken, it's gone. Um, and that's why I love to focus my work on human stories and what happens when the politics, the greater shifts in the world, uh, how they affect uh, very personal and human stories. And that's what I try to do with this one as well. Oh, but you know what? There's some sort of uh, levity in the movie as well. Yes. Right? And so I'll end it with levity. Everyone wants to see Chris Evans' beard. I know. <laughs> Right? Well, it's a good beard. Why not? <laughs> right. <laughs> Were you the inspiration? <laughs> well, we knew, you know, it's the 80s. So we knew that, and, and they go, they go uh, undercover for months at a time. So it's not like they're going to, uh, uh, in the desert, shave. So we knew we were going to have beards and mustaches and, and big hair and uh, cool costumes. This whole idea of running a hotel, um, you know, these, these Mossad agents suddenly doing laundry and Tai Chi right. and uh, right. massage therapy and all of that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of humor in there. I wanted to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Thank so, you so much. much. Thank you. Congratulations and good luck on everything. Thank you. <laughs>